Hey guys, this is Edwin again, and I just wanted to make a quick video about something that I'm a little heated about, but I don't know, maybe I should just say passionate about. Um, this might come off as a little bit of a rant, but you know, the whole EDH and Commander thing is something that I feel like people that like created the EDH format, we kind of had something stolen from us. And it's kind of ran away and become its own beast. And for the people that love Commander and compete in Commander, I'm not knocking you. All the power to you. Go have fun. But I want people to understand that the people that created that kind of format and, and really brought it out and were enjoying it, all us old school guys, it was really, it wasn't a format that was meant to be competitive. It was meant to be a format that was just like fun, that was just enjoyable. And you know, the whole idea was like you bring like anywhere from like, you know, three to like eight friends over and you all sit around a table and everybody's got multicolored decks and you put things into your deck that when you play, people are just going to laugh at it and they're going to be like, seriously, you're playing with primordial ooze or something like that. Or you put slap down like a wall of wood or maybe you got like a card that you're really excited about. It's like your first expensive card of some kind and it doesn't fit a lot of decks you're going to play. but. You just put it in this one because it's just fun. So that, that's kind of the idea. Or maybe you want to make everybody laugh because you made like a, so a fairies deck or something like that. I don't know. You know, just you do something cool with it. So just like you would at a board game night, then everybody would sit around the table. And when you play competitive uh, commander, people are trying to win, right? And the whole point on EDH, it wasn't about winning. It was never about winning. It was always about just playing with your cards and having a good time. Um, all these decks you see up here on the on the shelf that I put up, these are all uh, EDH decks. They've all got five color commanders pretty much, just so I can have a, like, you know, I, I like being able to surprise people. They have no idea what I'm gonna pull out of that deck, right? I think for me, that's a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy that kind of surprise, that kind of aspect. And also in my box over here, this is my main EDH deck. And uh, see, this is funny because I was just literally playing this deck the other night over at my neighbor's house, just two doors down. Uh, Keith and I were playing and he has a, a commander deck that he put together and he, he's, he's new to the game, he's got some strategy in it. And we played three rounds and uh, he actually ended up winning two out of three. And in this deck, I mean, look, I've got, I've got power in here, I've got dual lands, I've got like beta sign stuff. This is like a power deck. I mean, look at sign demonic tutor. This, this deck is like expensive and stuff, right? But, but he beat it, right? But that's cool. That was the awesome thing. Like what, I'll put all this expensive cards inside this deck and then I'll cast something stupid like, like a, a beta uh, wall of brambles, right? A regenerating wall. But that's kind of the point. Like you want to play cards that are just fun and they're just enjoyable. And at the end of the of the three games, he had fun. I had fun. I got to play my cards. He got to see his deck come out and unfold. And neither one of us was trying to lock down all the mana. Neither one of us was trying to play counter wars. So you never get to play any cards in your deck. We're just dropping stuff and then both of you build up these huge massive armies and at one point it was like he's gonna win then I'm gonna win and that's kind of the idea right it's just fun so he didn't walk away from the game being like ah oh, dude I played with you know my neighbor down the street and he's all these expensive cards and I didn't have a chance to win that's not what happened he played like a $30 store-bought deck that he made modifications to and he totally beat me and it was awesome and that's kind of the point so there's another story I want to tell um when I went to PAX South, because I'm a big land gamer, and I used to go to uh, you know PAX Prime. I used to actually, when I was working for Intel, I'd volunteer there and stuff. PAX South happened, and so my buddy Andrew and I went there, and we had our booths set up, and or our stations, whatever, with our BYOC computers. That stands for Bring Your Own Computer. And we're sitting there, and we're playing games and having a good time, and at one point I was like, there's all this magic going on. I'm going to go get involved. So I took um, an EDH deck that was basically like this one, and I went over and I found a bunch of guys that were sitting down at a table and they're getting ready to start a game of Commander. And so I told the guys, like, hey, you know, I've got a deck with me, and uh, it's, it's not Commander, it's EDH. 
And so they're like, well, what's in it? And so I showed them some of the stuff in my deck, and but I, I kept telling them, like, this is, this is not a threatening deck. It's just for fun, right? But once we started, like, all of them were ner very nervous about playing with me. And so it's like the whole table just attacked me. And they knocked me off the board, like, immediately, right? And then the rest of them went on playing. And I kept trying to tell them, even as they're attacking me, like, you guys, this isn't a threatening deck. That's not how this was built. But, you know, they just saw expensive cards and they wanted it off. But then I noticed the rest of the game, a lot of them weren't joking. They weren't smiling. They weren't socializing. They were just, like trying to beat each other the whole time. And and I'm sitting there thinking like, you guys, you lost the point of this whole format. You know, that that's not what it was designed to actually be. So I, I think that deserves mentioning it. And also there, there's other things, I, I, I wanna talk about a little bit more with it also. Um, when I played EDH with my friends, the general idea is if somebody's down on their life, you don't really attack the guy. It's kind of a jerk move, right? You know, if, uh, you know, Bob comes in and he he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with, you know, Rudy and gets smacked down and now Bob's at five life. Well, the point was to play with everybody. The point was for everybody to have a fun magic game and to socialize, right? So literally what would happen is nobody else would attack Bob. Everybody else would look for whoever else is, looks like they're really strong, and they would go hit that guy. Because none of us wanted Bob off the table. The point wasn't to just win. The point was to have fun with your friends and have a good time, right? And so, like, the perfect EDH game, right, at the end was when, like, you've got, like, everyone still alive. It's like anyone could win. It's like toe-to-toe. -to -toe. There's combos going off and spells flying. And then something happens and everybody dies. And, like, that's, like, awesome. That's, like, the epitome of, like, the best game. Like, a big firestorm that you just pitch, like, a... 50 cards out of your hand and like everything dies. Something like that is just like the ultimate way. But anyways, like again, I don't mean to knock Commander because it's its own format. It's got its own cool things about it. But I definitely feel like all you guys that play Commander, you need to understand you missed something. EDH is different. It wasn't meant to be competitive. It was meant to be fun. It was meant to allow old cards and new cards and all this stuff coming together and and you want someone to like play a bunch of moxes or something because then you can play a, drop an energy flux on the table and laugh at them when all their stuff gets blown up but that's kind of the idea right so i encourage everybody to like to check out edh i'm not saying avoid commander but check out edh it's a lot of fun it brings you back to the social aspect of what magic is and I think that deserves talking about. So uh, anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for listening to my rant, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.